What is up? This is Bob Ox, and today I have another Plant Zombies Gun Warfare 2 glitch, and this one is pretty insane. And I've been waiting to show you guys this glitch for quite a few months now, but I didn't want to because there wasn't much new players. But now, since Xbox has a million new players, I feel like the time is right now. And this is basically how to get 500 to 700,000 coins, which is the no room chests that you have to do but you have to collect all the golden gnomes so i'm going to be showing you a glitch to bypass all the gnome finding and just get to the chests and search them all right now before i show you guys this glitch shout out to hyper fox games and his brother because they inspired me to show you guys this glitch and uh thank you guys because i've been waiting to show this glitch for quite a bit of time and now since because you guys i am now going to show it but uh yeah let's get into it Okay, so what you're going to need in order to do this glitch is you are going to need a second person. It can either be split screen or it can simply be uh, a friend. And it makes it a lot more safe because if they're in the sewers, you basically won't despawn the map and you won't fall through basically until that is needed. So just have a second uh, player in your game in the sewers. And you should be fine, but you don't really need it, but it makes it a lot more easier to do. And yeah, you're going to want to be an all-star with the shield, uh, regular shield dummy, and the default tackle. And there's either two ways you can do, and you're basically going to want to get on top of the sewers. And in order to do that, you're going to need to basically do the glitch over here. Or you get, can do the one over there by the train tracks, which is over there. Okay, so the second spot, which I would recommend more to do because it's a lot more easier, in my opinion, is on the railroad tracks by the seagull. And you want to go over to this pipe right here, destroy the stuff around it, and then you should be going against the pipe. But before I actually show how to do that, uh, I apologize in ahead of time for the split screen because the whole entire video is just going to be in split screen. And it might be really difficult just to look on the top and see everything that I'm doing. But hopefully you guys understand it and I apologize ahead of time because you do need a second player to make it easier. Alright. I don't know why that guy just gestured. Alright, so you're going to come over to the pipe, place down your shield, look over, put your crosshair exactly where mine is kind of, and tackle. And if you do it all kind of in one motion and do it kind of fast, you should go through. And if you do go through, uh, then you'll be uh, on to the next uh, step basically and this is in my opinion the only hard part in the glitch if you get this down first try you easily can do the glitch in four to five minutes this might be the only spot of the glitch that might be the most difficult but uh, if you do do it correctly uh, you should go through Okay, so once you get through, like so, where as you saw I was aiming at the wall kind of there, and then going a little bit to the left of the pipe, and when you do get through, uh, it might take you a little bit to do, guys, because this is the hardest part of the glitch, and then there's basically a semi-hard part later on, but when you do get through here, you're going to basically come over onto this branch, place down a shield at the very far end, like I did there, all right, jump on that, and then jump onto the sewer. And once you do that, you just got to be careful not to fall through down there. Because if you do fall down there, quickly respawn. Also, the game will freeze, and you will crash. All right, but once you get on top of here, then you're going to uh, carefully go on, t on the ledge of the sewer here. Place down a shield, jump up on this, then jump on top of the shield. Jump on top of the sewers, and once you get to that, just ex follow exactly where my character is going. And then you should be smooth sailing, and you should get the glitch done. Now, make sure your friend's inside the gnome area, like I have shown here. And once you have that, you're going to quickly just go on top of this. Just keep following exactly where I'm going. If I'm going a little bit too fast, you could slow it down, hopefully. But once you get on top of here, this is the one spot that might mess up your glitch. But you're going to basically come on top of this thing. Alright, you're going to go to the very far edge. 
and you'll simply just once you get to the far edge uh, right here you just simply just run and jump forward keep jumping all right and once you do that you should be on top of the gnome area and you're basically going to uh, you see the golden gnome right there basically go over there basically and once you get over here just make, it sh make sure that uh, you're aimed on top of it, kind of. Uh, well, yeah, the no room's closed, as you can see. So that's why I'm showing you how to get to the chests. But once you think you are aimed, kind of, uh, towards the, or on top of the gnome area, you want to quickly, uh, for the other character, Simply just get out of the gnome area or the sewers. All right, you're gonna warp home. Sorry, it took me a little bit to answer there, but once you wait a bit, uh, it should despawn everything. Okay, if you do it correctly, it should despawn some stuff. And if you do uh, do it correctly, after it despawns some things, or once the map despawns, hopefully it will. Uh, you should fall through right on top of the chest and if you don't manage to do it then uh, You can simply oh wait. Nope. There it goes if we fell through never mind. I wasn't really looking <laughs> my bad All right, so as you saw we just fell through uh, you gotta kind of go as you saw we were in between the two rocks there and a little bit further So if you do it correctly, you should fall through and look you have the chests right here and now you can simply open them. Uh, as you can see, we only have 16,000. And that is basically the glitch, guys. Sorry if uh, it got a little weird and slow at the end. But uh, that's exactly how you do it. Hopefully you understood it. It might be a little bit tricky to do. But this is, of course, for the new players that can't really or don't have the time to actually uh, find all of the gnomes, you could say. So if you just do this, you can simply get all this gold easily look at that we already got 500,000 and there you have it guys we got now that hat so 500 to 700,000 if you somehow figure out how to get uh, over there to that area to get those chests over here but basically I'm just gonna say 500,000 coin glitch hopefully you guys understood it. if you didn't I do apologize I wasn't really paying attention at the end because I didn't expect it to despawn there very quickly but uh, you have to be very patient with this glitch if you want to do it. Other than that, thank you all for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed and I uh, hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.